So now you know me as a chemistry guru and I'm also a physics guru as well. And I'm here to help you out a little bit in physics, simplify terms for you and get you accustomed to it. So we're going to start off with a lot of moments that I think is appropriate thing to start with because we've been doing so many transposition questions. We can start with this because it has um, two sets of things that you can look for. So, when a body is in equilibrium, the sum of the clockwise moments about any point equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same point. Right? We're just saying what is e what, what number you get on the, the left side must equal to what you get on the right side of the equation. That's all they're saying. And question one. Calculate the weight of a meter stick if a weight of two newtons is placed at the zero mass and the fulcrum or pivot is placed at the 40 mark. Now, the trick of this question is not to tell you um, how long this stick is. You're supposed to gather that the stick is actually 100 centimeters long because it's a meter stick, right? So, um, you would draw, you would draw it out. This is what I would tell my son. Draw your scenario out because it's better that way. And it says here it's a meter stick, so you're going to have a point at 100 and you're going to have another point at um, zero, right? I said it backwards, but that's okay. And you're going to have the midpoint, which is at 50. So, and you're going to have 10, 20, 30, 40. And it doesn't have to be accurate, 60, 70, 80, 90. It really doesn't. So as I said, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And it says that your fulcrum was at 40, that's what I saw. And the fulcrum is basically a pivot, like a seesaw, a hinge, anything. So you cause it, the 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 arm, the meter stick to topple over. So basically, now you have your weight. It says the weight of two newtons placed at this zero max. So we have our weight here of two newtons, and it says calculate the weight of the meter stick. Whenever you hear a question ask you about the weight of something, the weight of something is always at the center of whatever material or, or mass you are just trying to determine. So your weight in this sense is going to be your 50, your 50 mat because that's the midpoint of 100. So that's the weight. Now, anti-clockwise moments are equal to clockwise moment. And the anti-clockwise moment is calculated as distance times weight. And your clockwise moment is, is equal to distance times weight as well. But it is V1 times W1 equals to V2 times W2. So I would denote this as my V1, as my, sorry, as my weight 1. And I would denote my distance here as my V1. Right? I'll write it properly. So you have your weight one here, you have the weight one, and you have the B one. So those terms will be done built it together. And this will be my B two. And this will be of course my weight two. So here now you have the, the units used for distance is in meters and your weight is um weight is taken in newtons, right? So I have here now 2 times 40, and it's 40 because you have 10, 20, 30, 40, right? And then I have, it's equal to my clockwise moment. So basically, what I mean by anti-clockwise is that if this, if this ruler on a fulcrum were to topple this way, so the fulcrum is here, it will go anti-clockwise. However, if this fulcrum were to topple this way, right, 
your thing will go clockwise. So anti-clockwise and clockwise. It follows the clock. It follows the clock. So you have 12 and you have 6. And to go this way on a clock is clockwise. To go this way on a clock is anti-clockwise, right? So you're just mimicking that. So this, of course, if it were to topple this way, will go anti-clockwise. And this is just what the top would, would go clockwise. So we put all our anti-clockwise stuff in the anti-clockwise place. We have two newtons saying 40 centimeters is the distance here in centimeters. Then I was saying, you're supposed to have it in meters, but because both sides have centimeters, they're going to cancel out anywhere. And in the weight now, times, that's not going to be our x, this is going to be our x. The weight times 10 because between 40 and 50, it's 10, right? 50 minus 40 is 10 centimeters. So 10, not 50, but 10. Because it's the distance between your weight and your fulcrum. The distance between your weight and your fulcrum. So then, therefore, you're going to put them 2n times 40. You're going to transfer the 10. And divide this side by 10. And you're going to divide this side by 10 centimeters and you're gonna do just what I did here and you're gonna get eight newtons and if I asked you further to get it into kilograms you would divide by gravity 10 newton kilograms to get four over five kilograms and you get 0 0.8 kilograms therefore equal to 800 grams and why we say 800 grams because one one kilogram Right, is equal to 1,000 grams. So you're going to just move this one, two, three spaces, as many spaces as zeros there are. And that's about it for, for moments. It's pretty easy. And uh, with time and patience, like I said, you'll get to. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.